Hey, um, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a simple terrain level in Unity 3D. And it's really easy to do. It only takes a few steps, and you can have like really nice looking levels in a short amount of time. So the first thing you're going to want to do when you open Unity is go to File, New Project, and um, checkbox all these and then create it. It'll take a while, so I just kind of bypassed it so that you guys would be able to just watch and follow along. So in the file management, I guess it is, um, you'll have these two um, asset, standard asset things, folders, and um, they have all these things that you'll need. And that's why we check box all those um, check boxes. I added these trains and scene one train and models in scene, so don't worry about that. Just make sure you have standard assets and standard assets mobile. So when you start off, you'll have this main camera, which is pretty not important for us. So we'll just select it and delete it. And then the first thing we're going to want to do is go to terrain up here, click create terrain, and that will create this terrain for us. And it's at position 000. And we're not going to use this entire thing because that would just take up a lot of memory and be ridiculously big. Um, how about, <clears throat> excuse me, how about we just select it and we'll just draw something relatively small. I'm just looking at all these different, um, all these different um, settings we have. So don't worry about what I'm doing right now. Okay, so let's start building our terrain. It's relatively easy to do. All we really have to do is click on this button to raise and lower the terrain height, and we'll be able to start painting right away. So I usually do a square. So I'll start like that. You have your brush size right here, which I raised, and your opacity, which determines how fast or how much of the terrain will go up. Like if you have it at opacity 100, it will go up instantly and really fast, which I personally don't like. If you have it all the way, well, not all the way down. If you have it pretty far down, it will just make bumps, which is pretty nice. So I'll put it on 50 for right now, and I'll just draw a small box square area for our level. And it looks pretty small, but trust me, it's going to be pretty big. Um, so just trying to build up my mountain area. This is going to be also the boundary. And OK, so that's pretty nice. It doesn't look like much right now, but uh, just wait. So I'm also going to draw some in the background so that you can see it in the background. I'll actually put my opacity up and my brush up so it comes out more fast so we can hurry up with this. It doesn't need to be too far out. And uh, yep, here we go. That's pretty nice. And now I want kind of a rocky top. So I'll change I'll change my brush to something more like not so uniform like this um, this brush. So I'll choose this one because this one is pretty good. And I'll start on the outside one. You can see how rocky it looks when I do that. So that's exactly what I wanted. I'm just gonna make my outside ones a lot more rocky than my inside ones. So I'm going to make them bigger. Just by painting. I'm just using my left mouse. I'm sorry if I didn't mention that. And so now that looks pretty cool. Now I'm going to turn my opacity down. And I'm going to start doing that to the inside ones as well. 
I'm going to change my brush to something a little bit more grudge looking, like to make it a little bit more rocky. So that's nice. Now, I got a little bit in the insides, which I don't want, so I'll choose this, which is used for smoothing. It looks like a raindrop falling on mountains. I'll just select my first brush and I'll just simply just click and drag in the middle so it kind of smooths out the um, edges. It's going pretty slow. Sorry, my computer isn't the greatest computer in the world. So it kind of smoothed that out. But I'm also going to make some bumps or hills in the um, level itself. So I'll turn the opacity way down to like 5 so it doesn't make huge hills. And there we go. That should be good enough. And now there's pretty much our level. But um, it's white. <laughs> it looks really, really boring. So before I even put any of my movement into this and even tested it out, I'm going to click on this paintbrush for the terrain, and that will give us a paintbrush for our terrain. And the first thing we're going to want to do is click Edit Textures, Add Texture, and where it says Splat, this first thing, there's a circle all the way to our right of this window. Click on it, and I'll choose a deserty type of level. So I'll choose good dirt. Just double click on that. And I'm going to change this to tile size X 35 and tile size Y 35. That's just going to make it so that it doesn't look as repetitive. So it kind of makes the tile wider. And I mean, that's it's not super important that you do that, but it'll be more important when we um, make the rocky tops. So now, the reason I started with this um, dirt texture is because that's going to be our, my base texture of the entire level. So I know I want that that um, dirt in my level because I'm going to go for like a desert type of level. So now I'll do edit textures again, add texture, add the texture called cliff. I found that this is the best one to use unless you have your own for um, cliffs. So I did that and I'll change this to a pretty high number. Let's try 65 and 65 as a tile Y X and tile Y, uh, tile size Y, sorry. And I'll just add that. Now, if you try to paint right now, it's not going to work because it's not selected. So we just click right here and it's selected. So I'll change our opacity to 40 and our target strength we'll put down, we'll put to us uh, around 0.6. We'll just um, put it on the tops of the mountains. Don't worry if you get outside over there. It's not that big of a deal. Just try to get it pretty nice. Okay, so that looks pretty nice to me. And you can do this any way you want. I'm just going to do my brush size a little lower now. So I get the very tops of these ones. And there we go. Now, you're probably like, wow, that kind of looks goofy. So let's just turn our target strength down again to about 0.4. And we're just going to try to get it so it kind of gradients in so it doesn't just poof from one um, texture to another. It kind of eases into it, if you know what I mean. If you know what I mean. Um, sorry, I'm just, I had to. So I'm just going to fly around holding my left mouse button. And that's starting to look pretty good. That actually looks pretty well done. Looks, I'd say that looks actually really good. Um, let's look around. There are a few spots that we could fix. So, like up here, we could fix that. How about we make our target strength one? And on the tips, the highest tips will make him really more dark. 
yeah. So, I mean, this wasn't too, too difficult. Pretty much are finished. Um, put this down and I'll just paint over here. Oops, a little too much. Turn my brush size down. And you can see what I'm what I mean by kind of easing into the um, the textures. Also, it looks really conflicting. This could take a while, but um, I'm just going to finish right here. So you can see just from our perspective, I don't have really a camera. So I mean, it looks really good. It looks like it could be done. Um, so there's our level. And now all I really need to do now is add my character and light and skybox. So my first thing I'm going to do is add my skybox. So we'll go to standard assets mobile, click on the little triangle to drop it down, go to prefabs and just drag the skybox in. It's really small, so don't laugh at it. But uh, uh yeah, so we'll just scale that up. We'll press R. And we'll scale it up pretty dang big to f pretty much fit our entire level. And now I'll move it by pressing W. And now let's see. That looks like it might work. Maybe drag it more over here. Yeah. So. The only problem, if your skybox is too big, it kind of glitches out, which is a pain, but um, whatever. Now let's add a light, or first of all, while we're here, let's um, minimize our standard assets mobile and drop down our standard assets. And under character controls, let's drag out the entire first person controller, and then while your mouse is inside of the um, live preview, just press F and we'll go directly to him. So our guy is pretty dang small. I'm going to drag him up, press R, and just scale him up a little bit. So now press W, just bring him down. Just make sure he's not um, inside the ground. You can have him above the ground a little bit, but um, you don't want him in the ground or he'll fall through the map. So now our guy is and he's just chilling, you know, doing his thing. And if we start the game right now, it'll be really dark. So I'm not even going to show you that. Um, I'm going to add a, a, a light by going up to Game Object, Create Other, and I will do a point light. I'll put the intensity all the way up. And just go to, oh my gosh, that, ugh, 800, I'll put my intensity down, bring my camera up, or my uh, light up, I mean, sorry, 